Greetings. One Take Productions presents Adventures in Piano Technology. Today we're talking about how to replace a broken hammer shank. This is a hammer shank and poof, it's broken. So we have to replace this shank and we have to get the remaining stub of a shank out of the uh, hammer. So there are a couple ways of getting it out. They're usually glued, glued in pretty well. They're usually glued in pretty well. And uh, sometimes some heat will help if you live dangerously. And uh, danger is my middle name. You can use something like this, which will get very hot very quickly and get you into a lot of trouble if you don't know what you're doing. Whereas something like this is much more forgiving and a little slower. Tip of the hat to John Chapman for tuning, uh, tuning me into that thing. How about that for a pun? Anyway, we just want to loosen the glue just a little bit. And when you're heating anything, it's good to keep everything moving. That's probably enough. Then, we piano technicians have another really cool little tool for removing hammer shanks. Uh, hammer shank stubs, I should say, or hammers from hammer shanks. And it just gently, you'll have to align it kind of carefully, but it gently pushes down. Like I said, you have to align it pretty carefully, but it gently pushes down and we'll push the stub out the other side. Well, like I said, this is one take production, so we're not gonna do that one over. I'm gonna push it all the way through this time. So, the next step is choosing your hammer shank and the critical things are that the knuckle is the same size, that the center pins and the drop screws are in the same location, and certainly that the um, uh, screw hole is in the same location. Now this is off, off a Mason and Hamlin, so I'm going to have to remove this flange, uh, or remove this flange and replace it with this one, but I'll show you the final steps of the, the uh, hammer hanging part. So the next thing is I've chosen my um, shank, make sure it's loose enough, give myself a little bit of play for when it gets glued. This is a reamer, I'm going to go very, very gently because I just want to get, it's the right size and I just want to get any little glue remnants out of there. And there we are, ready to take to the hammer, glue in place. After it's glued, you trim the back of the uh, shank off, and voila.